Have you not been able to save much money? Have you had a few credit issues? Well, don't count yourself out if you've wanted to buy your own home, but you're worried you might not qualify. An FHA insured home loan might be your perfect fit. Hi neighbors, Catherine Newman, real estate agent with Allison James, here for your weekly bottom line, where today I'll highlight the basics of an FHA home loan. The FHA was created during the Great Depression as part of the National Housing Act of 1934 to stem the tide of foreclosures and help make home ownership more affordable. An FHA loan is a mortgage insured by the Federal Housing Administration and FHA loans are popular among home buyers who have little savings or perhaps credit challenges. The FHA insures mortgages backed by lenders like banks and credit unions and non-banks. That insurance protects lenders in case of default, which is why FHA lenders are willing to offer favorable terms to borrowers who might not otherwise qualify for a home loan. Here are some basics of the FHA loan. One. It's easier to qualify for an FHA loan than for a conventional loan, which is a mortgage that is not insured or guaranteed by the federal government. FHA loans allow for lower credit scores than conventional loans, and in some cases, lower monthly mortgage insurance payments. Three, FHA rules are more liberal regarding gifts of down payment money from family employers or charitable organizations. My first home in 1989 was an FHA loan and they allowed my mom to gift us the small down payment. Thanks mom! Four, there are several types of FHA loans which your local lender can discuss with you. Five, no matter which type of FHA loan you are seeking, there will be limits on the mortgage amount. These limits vary by county, and in Manatee and Sarasota counties, the house price cannot exceed $331,760. Six, you must have a certain debt to income ratio in order to qualify for a loan. The debt to income ratio is a percentage that shows how much of a person's income is used to cover his or her recurring debts. Lenders calculate DTI at the monthly level using the borrower's gross or pre-tax income and the ratio amounts vary based on the type of FHA loan you obtain. Check with your local lender to see what these ratio limits are during COVID. Seven, FHA loans require a 3.5% down payment if your credit score is above 580 and a 10% down payment if your credit score is between 500 to 579. However, be aware that during the current COVID-19 crisis, lenders could be requiring scores at 620 and higher, so talk to a local lender first. Eight, the house you want must be your primary residence and must meet the FHA's minimum property requirements, including health and safety. I hope these highlights have helped, but for a detailed explanation, of the FHA loan requirements, which we'll go over much more than we have time on this video, I've attached a link below with complete information so you can decide if this type of loan fits your situation. And don't hesitate to call me if you'd like to find out if you can qualify for an FHA loan. I'd be honored to assist you in your home buying adventure. <laughs> I'm Catherine Newman with Alice and James. Thanks for checking out this week's Bottom Line. And don't forget, click the FHA link below.